Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you the simulation of passive filter for non-linear load. As on title today, very first basic introduction regarding the passive filter. What is the need of passive filter? So actually nowadays the engineering circuits are changing moving parts to the static parts so the, as engineering growing non-linear switch as a scr mosfet igbt thyristor gto this power electronic switches are used to convert the one energy into the another energy let's say it can able to control the or convert the power ac to the dc dc to ac and also dc to dc so in that part this non linear switch are causes the power quality issues it means it will distort the line current from the system and it will fed to the grid again so due to this phenomena non linear current in the grid will create or will cause the heating of the equipment failure operation malfunctioning of controller and also the life cycle of the material will be going to reduce so it is very necessary to reduce the non linear current from the grid so for that i have drawn the block diagram left hand side you can see here non linear load filter and one machine's rotating pin part is shown here so this is the symbol of the grid the power is coming from the grid and it is fed to the non linear load as well as the machine so so what is the working of the non linear load so here you see the power is converted ac to the dc and later on that dc power it is used for the dc machines so thing is that when it going to convert the ac power to the dc power it causes the line current harmonics so i have also shown the solution for that one passive filter so l and c component is connected so whatever harmonic is generated from the non linear load will be fed to the filter or it it rotate into the non linear load to the filter so that that harmonic current will not goes to the grid so by this method you can reduce the level of harmonic and i have one block diagram to understand this non linear load or passive filter working so i have this block diagram you can see here very clearly the ac source is there impedance is there and passive filter is connected parallel with the non linear converter so this is the symbol of the thyristor which can control the ac power to the dc power using the various firing angle and load is connected so this non linear converter causes the harmonic so passive filters are there so here shows the various combination of lc equipment series series connection and series parallel connection of resistor and inductor so using this bunch you can reduce or you can remove the fifth seventh or eleventh high pass harmonics so by this way you can reduce the harmonics from the system so today in that simulation we will show you that this block diagram how to simulate and one more thing so i will like to show you that we have also done the one practical measurement on the system we have the readings here using the clip meter 4 3 5 we have the reading voltage as well as the line current you can see here and you can see a thermal effect of the wires and filters also here due to the harmonic to get heated up you can clearly see here the heating of the material see this is the hot wire comparatively hot wire so this is all because of the harmonics so now how to reduce that 
harmonic and improving the life of the material this is the basic simulation of the three phase to the load supply simulation here three phase system is shown measurement block is available in the bridge rectifier is there and load is here so i have taken the values 400 voltage 50 hertz and star connection of the supply and measurement is available rms voltage single phase and bridge rectifier you can select the thyristor also from here or electronic device instead instead of the direct to thyristor gto mosfet igbt and so on with the basic simulation we will select the diode only and load is connected r is set it up to the 200 and inductor is 10 milli milli now this right hand side window will show the input voltage supply voltage three phase and second graph it is a source current and third graph it is a load current before starting this simulation i have I was trying to simulate this graph so it is a pre dissolved graph three phase supply now as on condition non-linear switch is connected so the source current will be distorted mw type waveform you can see here and load current obviously because of the diode it will be distorted now one more thing the meters are connected phase voltage and this meter it is used to measure the power factor and this meter is used to measure the phd so how to connect this meter to the supply it is very easy we wanted to show the graph from here to any of the component just double click on that one and whatever you wish to connect the signal let's say i want to measure the vabc over here or current so you just click over here so the signal will be shown to here i don't need to measure the iso here so i have tick on the measurement instead of the i source so you can set the limit of y axis time span and the scale limit also it is very easy to connect now this is the filter and i have calculated the values of filter according to the my values resistance inductance and capacitance this is the passive filter as we earlier discussed about the theory now without the filter you can see here the source current and load current very similar distorted line current and phd is also followed 26.94 percentage and the power factor is near about the 0.81 is available in meters now you just connect the filter to the supply or you can say grid three phase now what is the performance or uh, how the current is going to improve due to this filter that we will see running the simulation it will take some time to show the graph the graph will be appear after some time over here and we can compare the PHD before the connection without the filter and after the filter PHD will be appear here and power factor will be appear here. So that just help some time. Okay, now the signals are available. You can see in right hand side. Here you see the three phase voltage and improved light line current. It is nearly to the sinusoidal, pure sign current, and the load is still deteriorated. So, distorted line current will not move toward to the supply grid. That was our motto. You see, the power factor was also improved, and PHD is reduces 24 or 26 
percentage to the one percentage only and the phase voltage is maintained as we set it up so for the reference we will take this making sure now we have the comparison here you can see say the desktop comparison now we take the graph from the computer okay now you see in the passive filter you can see that block diagram simulated data the non-linear current second graph and improved line current so this look like this so this is the advantage of the filter we can improve the phd and also reduce the distortion level of the line current so by this method you can reduce the harmonic and improving the light cycle of the all the equipment which is used in this converter AC to DC. Thank you.